Let's go over Roxy's training so we can stay consistent when we take her home. Whenever we're working with her, we want to reinforce and reward behaviors that we want to keep seeing, whether that's following our commands or just giving us nice, calm behaviors that we want to keep seeing. The more we reinforce and reward behaviors, the more she's going to look to do those behaviors because she wants to get rewarded for them. And then with behaviors that we don't want to see, whether that's not listening to our commands or she's jumping up on us or she's just doing things that we don't want to see, we're going to follow through with our training equipment so we can decrease and discourage those behaviors. So let's dive into her training equipment. This is her prong collar. She's going to wear this whenever she is on a leash. How we take this on and off is we're just going to secure one of the links and push through like so. And then to put it back together, we're going to pinch the prong and put it through the holes of the other prong. And then whenever she has this on, the leash attaches to this D-ring that swivels. And how we use this, say she's in the heel position. Heel just means walk next to me on that nice loose leash on the left side. Say she starts to do things that we don't want to see, whether that's pulling ahead or just doing goofy things we don't want to see in the heel. We're going to say no, marking the incorrect behavior, follow through with the pop of the leash, and then we remind her heel. So no, pop, heel. And then that's going to be how it works with every single command. No marks incorrect behavior, pop of the leash is the follow through, and then we remind her what command we are asking of her. Now let's go over her remote collar. How we turn this on and off is there's a red dot on the collar, red dot on the remote. Touch these together. That green light on the collar flashing means it's on charged and ready to go. On and off button on the back of the remote. Push and hold until the screen lights up. So you're going to see level 12 appear on the screen. This is going to be Roxy's working level. And then today we're going to be focused on the black S button. S just stands for stimulation. So it's kind of like an electric muscle stimulator. How we use it, say so she's in that heel position again and she's starting to pull ahead and we don't want her to, we're gonna say no, marking an incorrect behavior, black S button, heel, no, button, heel. Then depending on the level of distraction that Roxy has, we may use one of these, we may use both of these. It depends on the situation that we are in. With the remote collar, it's gonna be the first thing that we put on Roxy in the morning and then the last thing that we take off at night. So we always have a form of communication with Roxy throughout the day. With the leash and the prong, we might have this on in the house when we're introducing some of the commands, and then we can slowly fade away from needing the leash and prong once she has a good understanding of the new boundaries of the house. So that is all of her equipment. Now let's dive into her commands. I've already kind of gone over the heel. Heel is that nice loose leash walking. Whenever we take her out on walks, about 80 to 90% of the walk should be in the heel. The other 10 to 20%, we can give her her release word free. Free means she's not in any set command, and that's whenever she's going to get her time to do her business and enjoy that part of the walk with herself and do her own thing where we're going to follow her rather than her following us. Now we have sit. Sit means stay as implied until she's given the release word free. Really good for those door manners so that she can't just bolt through doors anymore. Rather, whether we approach a door on the inside or the outside, we're going to have Roxy sit. Sit means stay as implied, so as we're opening the door, we want to make sure Roxy stays in that sit. If she doesn't, we're going to follow through with the training equipment until she gets it right so we can set some of the same boundaries that we have here at home with her. So say she sits and she does great, we open the door, we have two options. We can either free her through the door by herself or we can heal through the door with her. It depends on the situation that you're in. But if she stays great, if not, follow through so we can set those same boundaries and so that she sits and stays on the first time that we ask and not the seventh time that we ask. Now we have down. Down also means stay as implied until she's given a release word free. With down, we don't want to release her from a distance because then she'll get rewarded for coming to us and not staying in the down stay. So whenever we're practicing the down, we can do a little distraction or do whatever we're doing. We're always going to go back to Roxy and release her from where she's at. So she always gets rewarded for staying in the stay portion rather than coming to us. And then also with down, we're going to reward as low to the ground as possible so she knows where that positive zone is when she's doing down. Now we have place, places a boundary stay, ideally on an elevated bed. This one's really good for whenever we're having company coming over or when we're eating dinner. So that way she can experience everything that's going on, but she's going to be on a boundary stay so that she can't do any unwanted behaviors that we don't want to see, such as jumping up on people or just begging for food at the table. So we can put her on place, but just like with down, we're not going to release her from a distance because we don't want her to get rewarded for coming to us. Rather, we want to get her rewarded for staying. So. Whatever we're doing, say we have people come over, once she's nice and calm, we can go back to her and release her from where she's at. With this one, I suggest having a leash and the prong on in the house when you first introduce it and when you first have big distractions going on, so we have a way to guide her back to the place bed if we need to. Now we have come when called. This one, whenever we're practicing it, we want to give her that release word free and let her go get distracted, because ideally when we need her to come back to us, 
It's not going to be when she's in a sit stay waiting for us to call her to us. Rather, it's going to be whenever she is doing her own thing, sniffing the grass or whatever. So we can give her that release word free, let her do her own thing. Whenever we call her to us, we're going to say it in a loud, firm tone, praise her as she's coming to us, have her sit, and then we can give her the reward. Whenever we're also working on this, we can back up because that's going to kind of invite her into our space so that she knows where she's supposed to go. When we're practicing this, I would suggest having a 30 to 50 foot leash just in case she does get extra distracted so we have a way to communicate with her and tell her to come into our space. So every time we practice this, we're also going to reward her because this one's really important. We're going to build out reward history and then we want that positive of always coming into our space. So say we're practicing this and we ask her to come to us and she ignores us. We're going to say no, marking the incorrect behavior of ignoring the command. We're going to call her again, but we're also going to follow through with the training equipment. So no, follow through, call her again. And then when she gets into our space again, we're going to reward her. Just because she didn't listen out here doesn't mean that we are not going to give her a reward when she gets to us. Coming to us is always going to be a positive. Now we have leave it. Leave it means just don't grab that. So when you're practicing this, I would suggest dog stay foods just in case she does go for it. But when you practice this, also have a leash and prong on her so we can guide her into different scenarios if we need to. So toss something on the ground, say leave it. If she does, great. If you never want her to get things off the ground, you can pick it up so she never has the option or you can tell her free and okay, just like you're gonna see in the video and she can go grab it. But practice with the leash and prong on. So if she does go for it, we have a way to communicate with her and tell her not to. But if she doesn't, great, we can reward her for that. And then we can also let her pick it up off the floor if that's something we want to do. But that is all of Roxy's commands. So with Roxy being very young, we want to give that a lot of positive with the behaviors that we want to keep seeing. So a lot of reinforcement and a lot of rewarding for Roxy. And then with those behaviors that we don't want to see, we don't want to encourage her to do those behaviors. So we're going to follow through with the training equipment and try not to reinforce and reward behaviors that we don't want to see because she is very young. We want to make sure she's developing good habits. So that is all of Roxy's training and equipment. So we're going to have fun, stay consistent, and we're going to watch Roxy do all of her commands.
it. Good morning. Good, how are you? Down. Good girl. Good down. Down. Good girl. Down. down. Good girl. Down. Good down. Leave it. 
Let's dive into the other feature of the remote. I know we've already gone over how to turn it on. Now let's go over how to turn it off. The red dots again, this is going to be how we use to turn off the collar itself. That red light means that the collar is off. On and off button on the back of the remote. Push and hold until the screen goes blank. Now we're going to go over the other features of the buttons on the remote. So black as button we've already briefly gone over. This is going to be the number that you see on the screen. So this is her working level and this is going to be the button we use to tell her not to do something. And now we have that red S button. The red S button is a boost feature. You can see her number is level 12 right now. If I click the red S button, it is going to jump it 20 levels. So whatever number is on this screen, the red S button is going to jump it 20 levels. This is for emergency cases, whenever she's doing something dangerous that is going to cause her harm. So that way we can still communicate with her when she is in that high adrenaline state of mind. So whenever Roxy is just kind of hanging out and being whatever level 12 works for her but whenever she is in that high adrenaline state of mind doing something dangerous chasing after something and not responding to us she is up here so we have a way to communicate with her when she's doing something dangerous so that is for emergency cases when we really need to communicate with roxy that she's doing something that we need her to come back into our space then say level 12 is not working for roxy say that she's not responding to it or you notice that she's having too much of a reaction we have a way to change this level by pushing down on the dial until that 1D at the top of the screen starts flashing, and then we can change it to whatever level we want. Right now, level 12 is working for Roxy, so I'm gonna change it back to 12. How we lock it into place so we can't accidentally change it, we're gonna push down on the dial until the 1D at the top of the screen stops flashing. So that way, when we put this in our pocket, we can accidentally change her level. Now on the other side of the remote, we have a T button. This is a vibrate feature. We like to use this to make sure that the collar is on and ready to go before we put it on Roxy, just so we know that it is in use and it's working. On the back of the remote, we have an M slash C button. This stands for momentary or continuous. At the beginning of Roxy's training, we started out at a very low level on continuous to introduce the remote in a very positive way. And then we switch over to a little bit higher of a level at momentary because she has progressed in her training and that is what she needs now and she should stay on momentary for the rest of her training. On the back of the button, that is the on and off button. This also works as a flashlight feature. So whenever Roxy is wearing this at night, you can still be able to see her. If you press the on and off button once, it's a flashing light. That second time, it's a solid flashlight. Press it a third time, it turns the flashlight feature off. Both the collar and the remote are rechargeable. Charging port on the remote is right underneath the on and off button. Charging port for the collar is right underneath and then between the prongs. It comes with a dual charger so you can charge them at the same time. The collar and remote should stay charged for two days if Roxy is wearing it for 12 to 14 hour days. But if you notice, it will start blinking red or orange whenever the collar starts to die. So it kind of gives you a warning about when it's going to die. So that way you know when to charge it. At the bottom of the box, there is a manual to go over any other things that you want to know about the remote. The vibrate feature also can be a tone feature if that's something that you want for Roxy. It goes over how to change it in the manual if you want, if that's what you want for Roxy. And then it also comes with longer prongs. If you notice that it's not making good contact, she does have very short hair, so I don't think this is something you'll need to worry about. It has the short prongs on. And I have not seen an issue, but if that's something that you want to do and you want to switch her over, you absolutely can. There is a two-year warranty for the remote and collar. So if you're having any issues, like it's not charging or you're just having issues with it, you can contact the company and let them know and they should just send you over a new one. Both the collar and the remote are waterproof. So if they get wet, not too big of a deal. But if she's going to stay wet for an extended period of time, I would rotate her collar so it doesn't irritate one part of her neck too much and give her a rash. But that is all of the other features of the remote. So just like before, we're going to have fun, stay consistent, and that's everything.